One of the great things about parametric composition is that we can work with individual elements of a musical phrase. In this example, I want to show you how to map velocity to an existing sequence. First, we start with a list of notes to which we apply a rhythm using the span function. After that, there are lots of different ways to create velocity values. Let's check out a few of them. You can take a look at the listener right here to see which values we produce. We can use each of these individually or we can combine them all together in a list. And the final step is to map these values to actual velocities by using the vector to velocity function. This also gives us the option to scale our values to a specific range, in this case 0.1 to 0.9. So let's um, hear a couple of different variations on this.